Hello, teacher Jackie here. And what I want to discuss in this video may or may not ring true with others who could possibly disagree with me or again, just have a different experience. So please know that this is based on my experience, my interpretation of current happenings. This is July 2023 and I'm doing this video. Again, I'm Jackie and I have been teaching with VIP Kids since 2018. It has been an amazing journey. I first started just to do a little side income and I still have that goal <laughs> and priority. But I will say after all this time, you just really um, enjoy the students, see their growth, enjoy serving the parents um, with this amazing curriculum and um, service offering and it's just been an honor and privilege. Okay, <clears throat> so you'd be very, very surprised at what we're wasting our time doing. Back in 2018, you know, we had certain kinds of training, 2019, I love the workshops. I'm really unable to attend the current workshops. I would love to go and or host some, but it's just not possible. <laughs> and so I do these videos here. Anyway, the training that we get on how to do class, how to do feedback, how to do our bookings, how to do lots of things is really, really good, especially back in the day when um, we saw the videos from the parents. Parents would say what they're looking for in a teacher, in the classroom, in the feedback. I've watched them all and I've studied them all. Plus, there was another fellow teacher who put out a couple of PDF books that were amazing about feedback, especially. So now we're going to focus on the feedback. You have the class, VIP kid expects you to submit feedback for the class for the, the parent and student. You can also optional to give teacher to teacher feedback, letting another teacher know the student likes, you know, princesses. So when they prepare their class, they can bring princesses to the class or whatever or a student struggling and where to help them. And then you fill out the other parts, like whether the class was appropriate, hard or easy, whether they participated very well or not well, whether they have vocabulary fluency, there's those uh, multiple choice. And then you have an option to reply to the learning partner, let them get some information, change the student's level, the student's great, wonderful, keep booking me kind of thing or just thank the learning partner for all that they do and give them positive feedback. If you don't know what I'm talking about, go again into the class, into feedback and look at the areas I'm speaking about. So this is really an eye opener for me, but actually I'm glad that I kind of got this recent feedback from families and students because of how I personally changed my feedback. Okay, so let's just take this in a few parts. Part one, we were kind of all trained or we kind of watched the model of we say, hello, so-and-so, so good to see you today. Today, we talked about trains, planes, and cars. We learned this vocabulary, the adjectives and the subject verb agreement. And so we basically copy and paste the class objectives into the feedback. And then we may do a little custom part saying, Please, uh, back in the day, we also used to say homework. Here's some homework. But then we were told, don't give homework. We're not allowed to do that. So maybe you, but I know I have, changed it to practice at home. You know, an optional practice. <clears throat> Excuse me. One moment. I do apologize. That's rude. <laughs> so um, actually, hot water would probably be better. All right, moving forward. So with that being said, um, we would just copy and paste the class, the name, the vocabulary, the objectives. We're basically telling the parents and student what they already know. So as you look at the parent videos of what they want and really what our service is, it is individual, one-on-one -on -one tutoring. It really is. Um, we are teaching about the mountains of, you know, the French Alps or, you know, the history of this. And today I just did one on hair. 
We learned what bangs were. We learned what wavy and curly and straight was and layers. So we're teaching, but that's just really multiple topics to help, again, practice English, conversation, reading, writing, formulating a sentence, with proper verbs, future tense, past tense, all of that. So coming back, I greatly changed my feedback. This is what I did. I have another video where I mentioned this, but this specific video is about what we're wasting our time on. And we're really wasting our time on feedback. How could I uh, qualify that comment? Well, I have asked some students recently about, oh, I'm putting these words in your feedback to practice. And I was not expecting the student to know what it is really. I mean, the parent probably gets it mostly, but honestly, the one was like, I don't know what you're talking about. Like, I said, yeah, after class, you get feedback, you can go read the feedback for the class, you know, what to practice on and what, you know, for the next class. You know, like, we don't read that. My mom and I don't read that. It was just like, not a thing. Once I heard that, I was like, yay, because I have shortened my feedback and already had completely evolved what I wrote, how I wrote. I will try to maybe put it in the comments, my model. And so you have it. I don't mind sharing it. Number one, I do not say the student's name anymore. I don't say hi, Sam, Sarah, whatever, because that takes time. <laughs> and uh, yes, I was never one to use that, those other software out there for feedback. So no more names, no more names. Number two, no more repeating the objectives or even the title of the class. Let me explain that. So today it was about hairstyles. That was the title of the, the subject of the class, hairstyles. So I went to the next slide, slide two, that most people skip, which I never skip, by the way. I can describe why and how I don't do that in another video. So I go and I look. Well, today it talked about haircuts and hair. It was about hairstyles. So it was definitely hairstyles. Where other videos, let's see, one was about trees. And um, I can't remember exactly, but the title would have been, you know, um, nature, earth, trees, or something like that. And then I go into the next one and look at the focus question and the vocabulary. And it's really just about different tree types or just trees in general. So instead of saying nature, earth, or whatever, I just have in there that it was great to hear you talk about, read about, write about trees. I, I generically made it to read because most of the classes are guided reading. And I just put the word trees, lowercase, no quotes, nothing. And then, so no name, hello, welcome to class. Greetings, actually. Um, no name, no repeating the title or objectives. But I do put in the vocabulary. Why not? I'm actually thinking about not doing that soon, but that may be another revision. So it is, uh, you know, we learned or practiced or repeated the vocabulary, whatever. In some of the new lessons, you'll see the word and you'll see an N for noun, V for verb. I delete all those out. So I just have the words, you know, tree, leaves, trunk, roots, whatever. The next part is the custom part. And so in my feedback, I put custom or um, yeah, I think I put words. So I say, please practice at home. And I have the list of words. So I copy and paste that. So during class in the chat, I type the words. I don't hit enter. Sometimes I do, but in short, I don't. In the very end, you know, thank you for your five Apple feedback. Again, you just make that assumption that they're going to do it or encouragement to do it. Some do, some don't still to this day. So I love it. And then teacher, I literally just signed it teacher. For me, teacher Jackie, I will tell you what happened. Okay. So again, no more name, no more title, no more objective, only mention vocabulary words mention custom words that they need to practice and then say, thank you. You're great. See you next time. Teacher.
and leave it. So <laughs> what helped me evolve to this, one was the books and other uh, advice I had gotten years ago, like stop repeating what's already there. Use this little tiny paragraph to be individual, to be specific to that student. That's the value of you as a teacher to that parent and getting rebooked if you're really concerned about getting regulars again. The next part is I copied. I heard someone doing this before, but I hadn't done it until just, I don't know, a few months back. Copy in English what I wrote. Put it into a translator. Translate it to Chinese. I think it's modern or simplified. And then copy that and paste it back to English. Well, some of it was weird, but most of it was okay. That's why I changed my beginning to say greetings rather than hello or hi, Sally. You know, just greetings. It's just a very good generic worldwide, you know, greeting. <laughs> and then my ending, teacher Jackie, would you know, you probably kind of feel this coming, would you know that it translated and translated back to teacher Jackie Chan? <laughs> oh, so I was like, I don't want that. So I just have teacher because most of them say, hi, teacher. Hey, teacher. And I remember I had a few adult classes and they're like, teacher, teacher. They don't say teacher, Jackie. So teacher's fine. Student's fine. Just a very generic um, noun that we are, right? So I hope this helps you. Uh, don't get frustrated of all that work you put into your feedback and making it what it is now. But be encouraged from now forward to simplify it to save time for you, for the parents, the students, everyone. Because again, I can tell you, they're not reading it. They're not. And um, yeah, they're just not. And some are not doing feedback anymore. But I have been really blessed to get five apples. Um, not quite regularly, but often. Okay, so... If you need a recap, just rewind and go look back. I won't waste your time. But again, I just wanted to tell you what we've been doing wrong, what we've been wasting our time at, and how to be better moving forward. So for me, I just copy, paste, insert the words, and I'm done with feedback. It is awesome. <laughs> Especially if you need that little quick break between classes to go to the restroom or get a drink of water. Um, and I don't want to do feedback after classes. I do them after each class, not after my chunk of classes. So that's it. I hope this helps you. I hope it was like, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh goodness. You know, I've been wasting so much time doing all of this. So yeah, save time because again, we're wasting it and time's too precious. <laughs> if you have any questions, comments, send them below. And I appreciate you. And I hope this was helpful. Again, Teacher Jackie here. Subscribe, like, share, and comment, and happy teaching. See you until next time. Bye-bye.